What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? This is the company. Y'all see that amount? Where is it? Where is it? $650. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Boy, oh boy, you just, you, 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 you just don't stop, Diva. You just don't stop. <laughs> Hey. You, you just don't stop with the good information, man. Like, oh, like, like oh. the stuff that you be going through, like I went through before, and I'm over here, like, man, she, she telling no lies here. Like, there is no lies being told on everything that you that you be talking about, man. Let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about this. Hold on. Yeah, let's talk about it. Good that. morning. Let's good morning. Hey, that. you guys. I had to come on here real quick. I've just had the weirdest thing happen. So it's going to be a warning to any truck drivers coming to uh, Keurig Dr. Pepper in what town is this? Norcross, Georgia. If you're coming to Dr. Pepper in Norcross, Georgia, get ready for the biggest goddamn lumper fee you have ever seen. Let me tell you. Mm. So if you pick up a load at Dr. Pepper in Jacksonville, Florida, Mm -hmm. Make sure they wrap that shit really well. So I came here. The load wasn't so bad. It was only like 39,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. When they shrink wrap it, they apparently only go over it with just one single layer shrink wrap. And it does not hold these two liter bottles of pop or whatever they have. And that's really BS so right there. I don't drive crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't shift loads. However, in my trailer, in the very nose of the trailer, two pallets were shifted. Mm -hmm. These people, they charged six hundred and fifty dollars. Cool. This coffee smells like shit. What? Six fifty. Lumper fee. Right. To go in there, restack it, and offload it. Mm -mm -mm. Now, right here, let me show you. This is the company. Y'all see that amount? Where is it? Where is it? Six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and fifty dollars. That is the biggest lumper fee that I ever heard of. I, I thought three hundred was the largest because that's what I was, you know, well, I personally wasn't charged, but that's what they charge the company. Let, let's talk about let's talk about lumpers, right? I mean, I I, I did a I did a video back in the day and I said Lumpers was like the biggest mafia uh conspiracy ever in trucking. Like uh -huh. you 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 bring in the you bring in the pot out to you know to the company and they're charging right. they're charging you to offload their product. Bruh. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay. Let, let, let me clarify something that I didn't say in the video. The original price was actually $725. Whoa! Are you After serious? After some negotiation, <laughs> he dropped it down to $650. That's now. crazy. <laughs> $700. <laughs> After we continued to talk about it. Okay. And because I was like, the load was only six hundred dollars. Why would somebody pay more than what the cost of the load was to move the product? Right. Now, I'm I'm gonna put this out there because I was, you know, shocked. I was a little upset, even though I didn't need to be upset because I know it wasn't coming out of my pocket. Right. But but it was still a sticker shock. On the other hand, I was. It's a sticker shock, right? On the other hand, I was happy because this at this location. This is a black owned, black woman rumper surf. Damn good coffee. And hot. Okay. Okay. Founded Fair. by a black female. Fair. So I was like, all right, cool. Okay. I'm happy you got this business. Make your money, girl. Whatever you got to do, because if it was somebody else, they would do it too. Right. Because However, it was I believe that you're normally, overpricing. Normally, it's Capstone. You know that that's the like the right. biggest lumper company out here. Because like I went to, I went to a place and dude was like, "Yeah, make sure you go over there to the Capstone window." 
I was like, okay, no problem. Right. I, I, I knew I'm about to be involved with it. As a matter of fact, I talked to, you know, this was a while back, but I talked to a gentleman, mm-hmm. you know, when I was talking about the lumpers and all like that, because, you know, I just started, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, figure my way. And then, you know, when I'm, I'm getting hit with, you know, lumper fees and stuff like that. And, you know, they, you had to sit there, you had to wait. And you figure if you're paying the lumper fee, those are the ones, th- just my opinion, those are the ones that uh-huh. take the god awful longest time to unload, though, for real. True, true. They take that. And then, especially if you're running reefer uh, or you're running food products in and out of uh, grocery stores, you know, whether it be, uh, Gordon Foods, mm-hmm. Cisco US, mm-hmm. you know, all these, whatever. Those are the so worst. You can go in there. Right. You can go in there with just five pallets of the same product. And then they break that down. I, I went somewhere. I had, I had five pallets and they took those five pallets and broke. I think it was, I can't remember for sure, but I want to say it was Alfredo sauce or spaghetti sauce or something. And they broke it down into 13 pallets and then charged me for 13 pallets. I only wow. brought you five. Wow. But you broke them down. So when, whenever you're shipping and, the, you know, you're delivering stuff, they're going to break it down into the, the size pallets that they they feel or if it's like mixed loads, which I think I'm, I'm glad that you called me and brought this up because what I will do is go in there and post another video. Mm-hmm. I took a couple pictures of, of the, these pallets. They're mixed pallets, so it's not just all one product. They got mm-hmm. shit stuff mixed in there, and so it's shifted. Mm-hmm. Now, I figure I'm a specialist when it comes to hauling freight. As I've been we doing all, this. I feel like I'm a As we I'm, all are. I'm a professional. Yes, yes. Like, I love, I haul strictly, I try to 100% haul beer cans. I have seen some drivers with shifted can loads, which I think is nearly impossible what kind of driving that you're doing, whether it's empty beer cans, pop cans, juice cans, or the empty, like, soup cans, because I, I transport those, too, you know, like uh, the, the can for your veggies and soups and, you know, canned goods. So what are you doing that you shift one of those pallets and make them dump out? But I've seen two drivers dump those pallets, and then they had to go in there. The company made them manually stack them themselves. They, nah. they refused to do it. They like... You can't trailer out. Now, I used to work for yeah. <laughs> I, I used to work for a black ops company uh about a couple of years ago. Um and my first load was a Pepsi load, right? Mm-hmm. It was it was mm-hmm. it was heavy. I'm talking about it was heavy. And they only wrapped it, they they only wrapped it like a single wrap. Like it was only a single mm-hmm. wrap, right? Now I know I wasn't drive I wasn't driving crazy. I wasn't driving right. crazy. I was driving like I normally do. Couple of, you know, maybe a couple of hard breaks along the way because you know, I'm I'm in traffic and people is just driving crazy around me. But when I get to the uh-huh. place, I mean, at least about four pallets of product all yes. over the place. All over the place. Mm. So I called up they, they they came they came back to me they came you know they came back to me they was like oh bro you're gonna have to you know we're not gonna uh accept it unless you restack it and i'm looking at that shit like bro i'm not doing that so i called up mm-hmm. i called up the dispatcher and i go hey bro um they said they're not taking it because it's all over the place yada 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 all right, well, we'll we'll try to find right. a lumper for you or whatever, whatever. They called me back about two hours later and be like, no, you're going to have to do it. I was like, is I'm going to get paid extra for this shit? Because it's going to take me a long time. Like, it took me about, right. it took me about, I'm, I'm, I'm one guy. They didn't even offer to come out there to help me, bro. Like, Mm-mm. you know, nope, so they won't. I, you know, I came, you know, they was like, well, we got a hundred dollars for you. I was like, uh-uh, bro, you got to come out of the pocket more than that. I'm I'm like if you was gonna mm-hmm. pay if you was gonna pay like two three hundred dollars uh for a lumper company to come okay. out here and do it, give that to me and I'll do it. Right. So we negotiate mm-hmm. we negotiated a price and it took me like I said, it took me like like maybe about three, four hours to get all that shit done, bro. Mm-hmm. 
And I was Oh wow. It was crazy. It was crazy. So yeah, mm-hmm. I you know, I, I mean don't get me wrong, I understand. You know, I, I understand about lumpers and all like that. You know, I just came to right. I, I just came to the point of, you know, well, you know, the company's paying for it, but still it is a racket though. <laughs> it is a racket, especially it is. Especially when we get there <laughs> on time and if it's only like like you said, five pallets, it takes you like eight hours to unload us. Like, bro, really? It only took it they all, unloading, breaking it down, right. and then counting it afterwards. Mm-hmm. Right. It only took it only took the shipper like maybe an hour to get it loaded. And it took you guys eight hours right. to unload it. Like, that don't make no sense to me. And still charges a an arm and a leg to do it. Like, bro, that's right. crazy. And and that's because not only did they unload, like when I go to Aldi's, I, I love going to Aldi's. Aldi's will snatch that stuff off your trailer so fast. You'd be empty, but the weight comes is because they break it down. After they break it down and get it into them smaller pallets, you'd be sitting there waiting all them hours, you know, for those. But getting it off the truck is the easy part. They oh. then get it off the truck and tell you, go park somewhere, and we'll call you when your paperwork is ready. Three, four hours later, okay, your paperwork is ready. Here you go with this lumper fee. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, though. Wait, hold on. Whoops, wrong button. Wait a minute. Uh, uh-huh. better get you better get there on time. Let's make sure we yeah. stress that. Get there on time. Get there on time. Because if you if you get there on time, and when I and I keep stressing this to a lot of people because a lot of people is making videos talking about, well, I'm not getting paid my detention pay, and I'm not this and I'm not that. Well, it's when you get at the shipper's office. Not when you actually get to the place. Like when you get there, right. you gotta sign in with the guard and all that other stuff. Right. But your Go time, get parked, drop the trailer off. Yes. Your mm-hmm. time starts when they slap it in that timer at the office. That's when your time right. starts. So if you come in there Especially half an hour later, Walmart. you're late. You're late, regardless. Mm-hmm. Regardless of you there on time, but you're still late and you don't get that. You don't get that detention pay. Right. And and you could be then got there, like I said, like get the security, get parked, be and get there early. Say say for instance you got a ten o'clock appointment, you got there at nine o'clock. You done parked, you done dropped the trailer off, and you're in line at the office waiting to check in. It's ten people in line. If they take all day and they check in them ten people and by the time you get there, it's five minutes past your appointment, oh you late. You're late. Mm. We'll work you in. And then you're there for even longer. Bullshit. I'm like, but I was in line for, <laughs> you know, I've been in line for 45 oh, minutes. No. I can't help. It's not my fault that there's these many people ahead of me, but I was on time. I was early, you know? Yeah. Bullshit. You got places that's like that. Walmart notorious. Bullshit. Well, that's crazy. Well, Diva, as always, as always, thank you very much for sharing uh sharing that so you say this uh this place is out of north cross georgia i'm, I'm north cross georgia I'm, at the dr pepper keurig dr pepper uh place i'm heading towards uh columbus georgia as we speak so uh, so yes i am here yeah. in i am here in georgia but then after i leave here i got a i got a couple of places in florida by the way in florida uh-huh so am I, I left out of Florida. <laughs> am am I going to be able to get back home in time for the holiday? I don't think so. I just told oh. him I, I just told him to get me home for Black Friday, pretty much. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> now I'm uh I'm on the two stop load, so um I left out of it Norcross, stopped off in Fairburn, picked up a load there and the, the two stops is go from Fairburn all the way down to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and then all the way back up to Dallas, Texas to drop. Okay, okay. So, so you know, I, you... I think we, we talked once before about how they combine and load mm-hmm. for the price of one load. Mm-hmm. This is one of them loads that got combined. Are you uh are you you from Texas, are you? 
aren't you? No. Not originally, but that's that's my second home. Oh, okay, okay, I've got, okay. I've got a place in Texas, so, you, so I'm staying there for the holidays. So you you gonna make it you you gonna make it home for the holidays? Yeah, I'm gonna make it home to Texas for the holidays. All right. Well, you have a yeah. great great turkey day. And you too. Uh, spend Thank time with you. your family and uh, get that good reset in, and uh, we'll. We'll we'll come back at a we'll come back at another one. We'll come back with another one. Big G's got it locked, boy.